Need LASIK? Trust the experienced team at the LASIK Center at Evergreen Eye Center. No glasses, no contacts, no limits. What will you do? LASIK at evergreen.com. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. A listener named Justin is on the phone for a second date update today, and his email said that the worst possible thing happened on his first date. Uh Uh-oh. So I'm assuming maybe he ordered a hot tea, and they brought him an iced tea. What? That's... You know how that goes. Yeah, wow. It gets so awkward after that, and then you... Get up and excuse yourself and go to the restroom to try to collect yourself. And on the way to the restroom, you end up going to the parking lot and grabbing your car and driving it through the front of the establishment. Whoa. I, it happens every time, and that is incredibly awkward. So I'm sorry that happened for you, Justin. No, it's actually worse. Yeah, worse, worse than, worse worse than, than getting tea? an iced tea when you ordered a hot tea? Wow. If you can believe it. What could <laughs> possibly be worse than that? I guess we'll get to that in a second. No way. Wow. First, tell us about the girl you want to call today. What's her name? Her name is Naomi. And, um, like Where'd you meet her? A dating app. Okay. And uh, she seemed really pretty and this cute nose. Cute nose? <laughs> really like a tiny nose. Like you smaller sit- than the normal small nose? Like <laughs> I'm picturing somebody with barely a nose. Like just, <laughs> just two nostrils on yeah. your face? Like a button. No- oh, it's just adorable. You she had a, she sound had a- like you're really into the nose, man. Is yeah. that a normal thing that you look for in a lady? <laughs> yes, it is. Really? Okay. A nose lover. You're You're a nose guy. Okay. Well, I'm a face guy, and, mm. and the nose is sort of like the focal point of the face. It ties the whole thing together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you liked your nose, and you guys hit it off, and where'd you go on your date? Well, we, uh, we went to a nice restaurant, probably nicer than needed for a first date. Okay. Okay, so you went to a real expensive, classy restaurant with a woman who has a button for her nose. Okay. <laughs> and what was it like when you guys saw each other the first time? It just it couldn't have gone any better, and I was having the best time with her. It was the best date of my life. Whoa. Wow. Until the table next to us, there was a couple having a romantic dinner themselves, and halfway through our dinner, this guy gets down on one knee Aww. and proposes to his fiance. Wow. That's so sweet. I can't believe you guys got to witness that. How cool. How, how romantic. Oh, 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 it gets better. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you don't sound okay. like you're excited yeah. about it. You were upset? You you thought she should have said no? Is that what it was? And you <laughs> stormed out? The restaurant was applauding. Everyone was, you know, clanging their glasses. Aww. And with everyone looking at us, the guy leans over and he says, Hey, this could be you too soon. Oh, oh man. No. All right. So he did make it awkward for you guys. Why would the guy even comment to you guys? Well, so I, I tried to field it, though. I feel in it, and I, I felt good about it. I had an impulse, so I went with it. Okay. What'd you do? So I said, funny you should mention that. Stand up, out of my chair, kneel down, and <laughs> pretended to propose. Oh! What? <laughs> Why would you do that? What in on God's planet would make you do something like that? That is wrong on so many levels. I was just trying to be funny. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> yeah, real funny. Like, upstage the couple that just got engaged and then make it really awkward between you and your date. Well, I don't think it would have been, except I got up and I said, sorry guys, just kidding. We're actually on a first date. Okay, so you admitted oh. that you weren't actually proposing. Okay, good. Did people think that was funny? Yeah, everyone thought it was funny, but now all of a sudden, every eyeball in the restaurant was on us as a first date in the middle of the room, oh. next to the couple who just gotten engaged. Right. Okay. okay. So everyone's looking at you. Was your date real awkward after that? It was excruciating because it really felt like everyone was paying attention to us. The couple who just gotten engaged thought that they should like should pal around with us, and they tried to buy us dessert. And at the, at the end of the dinner, the manager came over and he says, look, if you ever want to come back to the spot of your first date to propose. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, but you're acting like annoyed. You're the one that set yourself up for that. I didn't propose to the woman next to me at the other table. He, it, like, that guy did it. Yeah, but you didn't have to fake a proposal to yeah. your first date. Yeah, exactly. It. No, but you, you weren't there. You had, I had to make the joke. I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I could just see if I was your date. You don't want to see someone joke about that even. Like, the first time you see a man get down on a knee, you want it to be for real. Well, I just, I don't know if you get the sense of humor in it. Okay. Did your date get the sense of humor in it, though? I think yeah. that's most important. I, I think she did. She laughed. 
Okay. She laughed hard with everybody else. I think it was me saying that it was our first date and that it kind of put us under a microscope for the rest of the evening. So why do you think all the attention ruined your night? Because it was like, it felt like we were on display. I mean, you, you could see the people, people would like lean over and whisper to each other like while making eye contact with me. Oh. And I didn't feel good about the rest of the date and I think Naomi felt the same way. So how did it all end with you and Naomi? With an awkward hug. Oh, yeah. All right. So it. everything went downhill after that fake proposal. It ended with an awkward hug, and then I kind of re-approached the joke, and this is where I think, Brooke, you're probably right. I went too far because I said, maybe we'll come back one day. Oh, <laughs> man, you should not have called no. back to that joke. You should have pretended like it never happened. No, that just feels like it's too sincere then. I feel like that makes it then not a joke. Well, that's why I'm thinking I screwed it up. I mean, I, I thought it would be funny, and, you know, she she didn't really even laugh, and we've texted a little bit, and it's, it's sort of lukewarm. When I asked her if she wants to do anything, I don't uh-huh. really get a response. Oh, okay. Man. Well, we'll play a song, come back, and then call your fiancé and get your second date update, Okay. <laughs> Hey, thank you. Yeah, hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. And welcome back to Dating Tips with Justin from today's second date update. (laughs) Always remember Justin's three rules for a successful first date. One, open all doors for your date. Two, make sure you pay the bill. And three, always fake a wedding proposal. Oh, God. Sure to work. Oh, man. Never. Justin is on the phone for a second date update, and today he wants to call a girl named Naomi. They went out on a date to a restaurant, and the couple next to them got engaged. The restaurant was all buzzing about it, and so Justin thought he'd play a funny joke and then stand up after them and go, we're getting engaged, too. His joke wasn't as well received as he thought it was going to be. Justin, are you ready to give your former fiance a call? I am. And, you know, I just mean, she's just so cool. And so I guess what I'm looking for is like a redo, just a, a second chance. Yeah. I mean, you said it was up until that point the best day of your life. Yes. That's how I felt. So was there some sincerity behind your joke proposal? No. <laughs> okay, well, that's... Not at all. I just want to make sure because, you know, they say there's always some truth to every lie. Yeah. I mean, if she just said yes, it would have turned into the worst date ever. Yeah, OK, right. OK. Uh, I just want to make sure you didn't secretly want that. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that could have yeah. gone so bad for you. If she's yeah. like, absolutely. I'd love to. And then she calls her mom right then and there. And now oh. you're stuck. All right. Well, I'm going to dial her phone number and see if we can get her on the phone. Here we go. Oh, God. Hello? Hi, is this Naomi? Yeah, this is her. Hey, Naomi, how are you? This is Jubal from the radio show Brooke and Jubal in the Morning. Uh, what? (laughs) This is Jubal from Brooke and Jubal in the Morning. What's going on? Not much, just hanging out. What's going on with you? How are you doing? (laughs) What you up to today, girl? (laughs) No, I mean, like, why are you guys calling me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we know. okay, I missed the point. Sorry. <laughs> we got an email about you from one of our listeners. It's mm-hmm. a dude who wants to do a second date update. Do you have any idea who might have emailed us? Um, I mean, I went on a date recently, but I don't know why he'd email a radio station. What was his name? Justin. That's it. Hey. Justin emailed us because he said he really enjoyed going out with you, but now you're not getting back to him. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's true. (laughs) Um, So I guess there's a reason. It wasn't just like, oh, I let him know that I ran out of time. Uh, No, there's there's definitely a reason there. Is it because he proposed to you on your first date? (laughs) I mean, I'm I'm just taking a wild guess. Okay, awkward. (laughs) Yeah, right? (laughs) Did you think that was funny? Because he said he meant it as a joke and you were laughing. I mean, at first, but then the whole restaurant kind of started looking at us, yeah. and it was it was not comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> so you think it was just, I mean, was that the moment that ruined the vibe? Before that, I, I honestly, I was having a good time with him, and he seemed like a, a funny, kind guy. Okay, okay, so the wedding proposal thing didn't completely kill it for you? Well, it's kind of complicated. 
Can you, you mind explaining so we can tell him? Yeah. Well, later that night, I went home and I just, I had this vivid dream. And was I wearing pants? Was I wearing pants? She doesn't even know who you are, <laughs> yeah, Jubal. <dude. laughs> Not about you. Oh, yeah. my bad. Okay. Wait, so wait. I'm assuming again. Sorry. <laughs> Get back no, to your dream. What was your dream about? So Justin and I were actually getting married Whoa. in my dream. Oh. And like, it was really, really vivid. Uh, and, you know, it, we went through the whole ceremony. Yeah, and, I mean, I could see I could see how you would have a dream about that, like the night after it happened. Yeah, of course, it would be top of mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then afterwards, it went straight to us in court getting divorced. <laughs> so you got married. You had it. That's it. Married that's and it. divorced all in your dream. Weird dream. Yeah. Quick dream. <laughs> so, I mean, when I woke up, it was really unsettling and I I felt kind of weird and I just I didn't know how I, I really felt about it, but the more I thought about that, that's definitely a sign from the universe like I should not go out with him again, right? Wait, so, hold on. Whoa. You dreamt that you got married and divorced and you think that that's why you shouldn't go out with him again? Oh, definitely. Wait. Uh, sorry, I'm going to hop in here. Uh, uh, wait, what? Yeah, Naomi, that's Justin. He's actually been on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. Oh, my God. Wait, are you joking? No, okay. Look, I, I understand that this is a little extreme, maybe a little overkill to call. And, oh, my God. And, uh, and I, just, I just need to go back to what you were saying. You had a dream that we got married... And divorced, and so now you don't want to go on a date with me again? I mean, Justin, first off, this is crazy that (laughs) you contacted me through a radio station. So this is, I think this is almost maybe another sign that we shouldn't pursue this. Oh, Uh, no. But that might be the first sign. You're saying that the reason that you thought we shouldn't be together is because of a dream that you had. Like... (laughs) I, I don't I don't have a dream that I get fired and then not go to work the next day. Well, Justin, I believe in signs. I believe that our dreams do tell us the truth about things. They reveal, you know, what is our path or not our path in many ways. And I definitely think that this is not the right path to take. It would end in divorce. Oh, Naomi, no. I'm sorry to interject here real quick, but... I just don't think, like, I've had dreams that my husband's cheated on me. And, and I mean, as far as I know, Those he are true hasn't. ones, but yeah. that's <laughs> but, beside the point. I didn't wake up in the morning and say, oh, my God, we've got to get divorced because what you did. Like, it's just your subconscious. It's, yeah. not, it's not a sign from the universe. Yeah, but it, it's not just a dream. I mean, we ha- had the couple propose next to us. Then he did the fake proposal. Then in my dream, we get married, then we get divorced. It's just, it's too much. <laughs> I, I think it's just a sign of an active imagination, and there's nothing wrong with that, but come on, <laughs> Naomi. Things don't look good for us in the future. <laughs> <laughs> so you're convinced, Naomi, that you shouldn't date Justin because of this dream? Yeah, I mean, we got married and we got divorced. That's as clear a sign as any Do in you- the universe that we oh. should not be together. I don't even know how you battle that, Justin. Naomi, I'm I'm sorry, but this sort of sounds crazy to me because it was a dream. It was one dream. You you, you can't make all your decisions in life based on a dream. I mean, obviously you would dream about that, that we had the proposal thing happen that night. And so you would be dream. I mean, we talked. I think we even talked about divorce at dinner that night. (laughs) Justin, I don't like I don't think you get it. Like. I know plenty of people, for instance, my grandma, she had a dream where she got sick and she was sneezing and then she got pneumonia. Whoa. Was it like the next day or like a year later? No, it was like within a week. Whoa. (laughs) Well, that probably means her body was already ill. Yeah. I don't know. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) Okay, so Naomi, you're starting to sell me on this whole dream (laughs) thing. I don't know, you guys. I I dreamt I was a wizard in a Harry Potter book once. But I wasn't. <laughs> are, yeah, are you sure you about are? that? Yeah, maybe you got maybe somebody cast a spell on you. Now you don't even know you can do wizardry. Justin Dole. Yeah, no, maybe it'll happen in the future. <laughs> Justin, you sound a little kind of angry at this point. Well, I am angry because this is ridiculous. <laughs> the bottom line is, Naomi, I like you. I had a lot of fun with you. 
I think we would continue to have fun together, and that bizarre freak incident is not going to happen every time we go out. All right, with that being said, Naomi, would you like to go out with Justin on a second date? We will pay for it. Ooh. Yeah, you didn't dream that, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you have to give him another chance, just one more time. And if you have a similar dream, then call it quits. I, you guys, I just, I've got a bad feeling about it. I, I just don't want to tempt the universe with stuff like this because we'll end up regretting it. And I, oh. I don't want that. Justin, you're a nice guy and I wish you the best of luck. Oh, wow. Man. I really think you're making a mistake. I, I cannot fathom that this is actually happening. But if this is what you really want... Justin, it's not what I want. It's what the universe is telling us is right. <laughs> no, it's what you dreamed. Come on. Well. <laughs> and dreams are signs, Justin. <laughs> Either way, Justin, it doesn't oh, sound man. like you're getting a second date. No. I'm sorry, man. Well, thank you guys for trying. Yeah, no yeah. problem. And Naomi, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Before you go, could you do me one favor? Uh, What is it? Can you dream about me winning a million dollars? <laughs> Me too. Yeah, all of us. That'd be dope. Text in at 78592 says, I had a dream once that my girlfriend dumped me. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, next morning she left. Oh, so, really? Okay. Maybe well. sometimes you should believe your dreams. Oh, wow. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning talking about today's second date update. Justin wanted to call Naomi. They went out for dinner, and there was an awkward moment when a couple got engaged next to them, so he thought it would be funny to fake an engagement. Mm -hmm. He thought she wasn't calling back because of that, because it was awkward, yeah. but really, she wasn't calling him back because later that night, she had a dream that they did get engaged, Yeah. Whoa. and then they got married, and then they also got divorced. It was a long oh. dream. That's a lot that yeah, how long did in she one sleep? dream. <laughs> Man. Yeah, uh, and I, I'm actually just shocked at how many people are texting in that they agree with her. Like yeah. Someone else said the dream thing is real. I had an incredibly vivid dream of a car accident and it happened the very next day in the exact same way. Oh my God. So Either that you go. or you just ran your car into a pole because you dreamed about it the yeah. night before. <laughs> I want my dreams to come true. They never come true. If, not if they're car accidents. <laughs> yeah. Just in general, my dreams have never come true. And why are the ones that always come true the bad ones? Dreams like are, getting Dreams dubbed, are bad. Dreams are bad. Divorce. <laughs> Car don't accidents. have dreams. Like, I think that's stop. what we learned from the oh, second don't have update. dreams. Okay, everybody stop dreaming. <laughs> yeah, dreams, like ones that you sleep, you know, dreams when you're asleep, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. dreams in life. They just never... Mm -hmm. Dreams, goals. Yeah, they ruin goal. everything. So <laughs> the best way to, I think, live a stress-free life is to just not dream. There you go. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, if you want to do a second date update, all you have to do is eat. Oh, they didn't go out, by the way. They decided yeah, yeah. not to go out because she trusted her dream. Text in to 78592. Do you believe in your dreams? I'm curious how many people actually do <laughs> live their life based on what they dream. Yeah. And if you want to do a second date update, all you have to do is email the show, and we will call the person that didn't call you back. Move at 92.5.